The FBI is putting up a $25,000 reward tonight in the manhunt to find out who shot a federal judge in Detroit. Judge Terrence Berg is said to be doing well tonight and in good condition right now after undergoing surgery. As we first told you last night on Action News at 11, he was shot in the leg as two young men tried to rob him right in front of his own home as he was taking out the trash on Detroit's west side. His wife told us she heard a gunshot and then her husband yelling for help. He was, well, he's walking up this path here and someone approached him and I don't know why and I feel badly that somebody felt they needed to do this. You know, I feel for, I feel for people that don't have something else to be doing. I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry that uh, this has to happen in Detroit. Yeah. Police are looking for two suspects who drove off in a black Chrysler 300 or a Dodge Charger. Now, of course, when something like this happens in your neighborhood or a neighborhood like this, it's only natural to question your safety. Of course, but people who live near Judge Berg say the crime is very unusual for their neighborhood. 7 Action News investigator John. Well, you think Carlson. the shooting would shake up neighbors here. They say they moved here for a reason and they're not going anywhere. Dalton Robertson Jr. lives feet from where Judge Terry Berg was shot when he heard the pop. I actually looked through my living room window and noticed that he was, you know, laid out. I heard uh, Anita in a bit of distress. He ran outside to help, but found DPD had arrived in record time. Although frightening, he says, This is really something extremely out of the norm for this neighborhood. Attorney Jeffrey Collins used to be U.S. attorney. He's also been a friend of Judge Terry Berg for more than 20 years. We run together. I mean, we've been running partners, you know, for like I said, going on 20 years. Collins lives about four blocks from the crime scene in Sherwood Forest. When asked why successful folks like he and Berg choose to live so close to Detroit's rough edges, he's quick to reply. Look at this issue, not just as a Detroit issue um, or city versus suburban issue. I feel totally safe. You know, I, I made the decision, you know, a long time ago to you know, raise my family uh, in Detroit. Um, others have done the same thing. Of Judge Berg. And he loves that neighborhood too? It's, yes, he loves He made the same decision in terms of raising his family um, in Detroit. Collins hopes the shooting has a silver lining for the city as a whole. That it may encourage, you know, more people to get involved in the solution. For the immediate future, neighbors around here just hope those suspects are caught soon. We're in Detroit. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. Yeah, absolutely. That is a beautiful and a prominent neighborhood in Detroit.